Hi, my name is Amanda Poling. I'm one of the nursing instructors here at West Virginia Junior College on our Bridgeport campus. And today, with the help of my nursing student, we are going to show you how to properly assess a fundal height on a pregnant patient. When a nursing student walks into the room, the first thing they must do is ensure hand to hygiene. So she's going to wash her hands. After she washes her hands, she's going to ensure that the patient does have adequate privacy. Next, the nursing student is going to ask two patient identifiers to make sure we have verified the patient. Hi, Annie, can you tell me your name and date of birth for me? The next step the nursing student should do is explain to the patient that we are going to be assessing her fundal height and that it won't take very long at all. Some questions that should be asked are, have, is your bladder empty? If not, the patient should get up and void. The next um, step is to make sure that the patient is in a supine position, but not totally flat to prevent supine hypotensive syndrome. Next, the nursing student should expose the patient's belly while maintaining modesty for the patient. Next, the nursing student will use her tape measure, utilizing the centimeter side, and begin measuring from the symphys pubis up to the top of the fundus. Once she feels the top of the fundus, she is to mark that number, and the number is? 28. 28 verifies roughly that the patient is 28 weeks gestation, and this is how you properly assess a fundal height.